If you want to know how to stake Matic on the Ethereum network, you'll want to watch this step-by-step -step guide for staking Matic Crypto. I'm Justin from Market Square, the new homepage for the decentralized web. In this How to Stake Matic Token guide, we're going to cover the Polygon Wallet staking page, the Polygon staking calculator, and actually stake Matic on Ethereum. Staking Matic on Ethereum helps decentralize the Polygon network and assists reliable validators to help make sure the network is healthy. This How to Stake Matic tutorial is simple and to the point, so let's jump right into it. Nothing in this video is financial advice and always do your own research. This is the one out of the entire series that is gonna be rife with fees on the Ethereum blockchain. That's the bad news. There's fees, they're not low. But the good news is if you watched my how to start using Polygon video, you know that there's now a loop around for dealing with Ethereum fees for doing most Polygon activities by using MoonPay, you can directly buy Ether that's already on Polygon, and you can directly buy Matic that's already on Polygon using uh, MoonPay. This particular video about staking Polygon for the purposes of governance and staking the Polygon ERC20 token cannot be avoided for using the Ethereum blockchain and using those Ethereum fees. There's just no way around it. First thing we need to do is connect to the wallet after visiting wallet.polygon.technology forward slash staking. So wallet.polygon.technology is kind of like a dashboard for some Polygon tools, useful tools. Let's take a look at that uh, previous page just so that you can see what's happening. So we have the Polygon wallet right here, which connects to MetaMask and shows some uh, additional info and makes it so that it's like filling up your whole browser window so you can see like all the Polygon things that are going on with your MetaMask wallet. Um, also right here, we have the Polygon Bridge, which is the legacy old method. Now MoonPay is here to bypass that and bypass those high Ethereum fees. So you just pay the MoonPay fees, which are reasonable, uh, definitely reasonable for me. Um, and then uh, you don't have to use the Polygon Bridge anymore, but it's here, it's here, it's here if you need it. And then also we have staking, Polygon staking. That's what we're gonna be covering in this video. And then lastly, we have the widget dashboard, which is supported only on desktop, okay? So what I did was I clicked on that staking one and it brought me here. It's showing me some statistics about the network, you know, how many validators there are, uh, how many Matic is being staked right now, uh, what is the total reward that's been distributed, some block height information, uh, some checkpoint information to make sure that the validators are, you know, awake, <laughs> uh, which is important and what the checkpoint interval is. So over here, you can see that all these different validators are available uh, for choosing when you're delegating your stake to a validator. So what we're gonna do is the first thing is to connect our wallet. We're gonna connect our wallet, our MetaMask, choosing that. We already have stuff that's on our MetaMask wallet uh, because the how to start using Polygon video uh, showed you how to load funds onto MetaMask for Polygon purposes. Uh, for this video, we need to use the Ethereum assets that we loaded on, not the Polygon assets, because staking for consensus reasons happens on the Ethereum proper network. So we are connecting our wallet. We are signing a transaction. It says greetings from Polygon. Greetings, Polygon. Well, I wasn't expecting to be greeted like that. All right, great. Uh, so we'll go to Uniswap. We are at Uniswap and we need to buy some Matic. So we're going to connect our wallet. If it's not connected already, you click connect. Now we're choosing MetaMask and then we are choosing next and all is good, all is well in the neighborhood. Now we're good to go. Uh, Uniswap sees our Ethereum already. It's saying, hey, you're good. So we're going to get some Matic. Okay, Matic. Okay, here we go, Matic. So we're going to import Matic and then it says it's not active on the list. That's okay. I'm gonna do that, okay. So we know that Matic is approximately $2 right now for a token. So we're going to want to be staking $50 worth of Matic tokens. We only need $50 worth of Matic tokens for this exercise, for this video, because we're on the Ethereum mainnet and all of the transactions require Ethereum coins uh, in order to do transactions. Doesn't require Matic coins for gas because that's uh, the Polygon Network's requirement. So we're going to get 25 um, tokens. Really hard to do math and do tutorial videos at the same time. Uh, you try it. 
Okay, great. So now Uniswap is saying this is approximately $50 worth of Matic, and it's saying, you know, approximately $50 worth of Ether. And then over here, it's saying the exchange rate, approximately $2.02. We're going to press swap. Now there's going to be fees, and those fees are going to be bigger than the Polygon network fees. Like when we're using U uh, Quick Swap, for example, the Uniswap fees are going to be way bigger than the Quick Swap fees. But we're doing a tutorial video. We got to do this up. So we're going to click on the next step. And MetaMask is going to be asking us some things. Now, this time it's saying that the gas fee is $56. So the gas equals the amount that we want to buy. Lovely. We're going to click confirm. That transaction submitted and pending, which is good. It's what we want to see. Okay, great. So it looks like that is good to go. And we are going to confirm. Uh, that we do have a balance of 25 Matic that, and this uh, notification happened. Let's look at our actual wallet itself. And uh, we don't see the list here. So we're going to import a token. And in order to do that, we need to find the contract address. So we're going to look for the contract on Etherscan. Here's Etherscan. Here's the contract. Here's the token, Matic token. And then we're going to go over to our MetaMask wallet. And we're going to import tokens. Here's our token. We're going to click next. And then it sees, yo, you already have some tokens in here. This is telling us we're doing it right. Because we did a swap for the token that we wanted on Uniswap. We knew it was the right token that we wanted on Uniswap. And then when we imported the token, it said, yo, same balance that you expected. So we know we imported the correct contract address. We're going to click import tokens. So now we have a less, uh, we have less ether now. <laughs> and then we have some Matic tokens right here, $50 worth. We are on our way. All right. So let's go back over to wallet.polygon.technology forward slash staking. And let's search around and see which validator interests us. Now I did some research off camera. And I do have a selection of a validator that I'm interested in. So let's locate this validator over here. There we go. Making dot cash. That's what we want to do, right? We want to make that cash. All right. So uh, this particular validator interested me because when I clicked on them, they actually had their URL filled out right here. So this helps you make different decisions when you're choosing validator to uh, stake with. Uh, you can click on their URL and you can go to their website, learn more about what they do. So if we go to making.cash's web, website, we can learn that they're a team of uh, node operators that run nodes on different networks, actually, not just uh, Polygon. They run nodes on Solana and Oasis Labs and Sentinel and, and Celo and even the Graph. So that's pretty cool. Their website looks really nice. I like it, you know, making cash, like they're doing it. They're doing blockchain things. So let's do blockchain things with them by uh, becoming a delegator. So we're going to click on become a delegator button. Okay. Now this is going to open up a pop-up window. Um, there's going to uh, uh, show, it's going to show us the information like the performance and the commission. I'm going to briefly explain that. So the performance refers to the efficiency that the node operator has when reporting in for checkpoints. Now commission refers to how much money they're taking out of the staking process and keeping for themselves in order to operate their business, run their node, perhaps even provide community services for the ecosystem, uh, which have costs associated with that. So if you see the commission that says like 10%, that means that they're taking 10% of their rewards and they're not giving them to their, their uh, delegators. Uh, they're actually keeping them for business operating expenses and some other things. Uh, this one says 0% commission. So that means that all of the rewards that they're getting, uh, they are giving to their delegators. Now, some of their delegators might be themselves. Okay. Like for example, uh, it says like how much stake, uh, let me see if I can show you this actually. So it says how much stake they have been staking on their own. Okay. They are calling this self stake. So they have their own money put up for this as a part of running their node. And they're getting a percentage of the rewards because of the amount they put up in their own stake. So even though it says 0% commission, 
they are getting, you know, some rewards for this uh, in, in, in exchange for putting up their, their own stake in the form of a self stake. And you can see that right here in, in the dashboard. So anyway, back to this. Uh, we know about commission. We know about performance. We know about self staking. All right, we're going to click on max. The max is 25 Matic tokens. This is logical for us. Okay, the transaction fee is $18.71. I like hearing I like hearing that. That's good. That's good. Man, uh, I'm glad I did this in the morning, 7.30 uh, Eastern time right now. So we're going to press the purple button. Purple button. And then some MetaMask things are going to happen. It's going to say, you know, do you want to give permission? And uh, it's wallet.polygon.technology. It's legit. This is wallet.polygon.technology. Um, this has the certificate. This is not you know, shady phishing, or there's nothing sketchy happening here. We're confirming all this. Now we're pressing blue button. Okay. Then the transaction progress is happening and that's a good thing. Okay. So now we've, we've gotten to another stage of things and now we're being presented with another transaction fee. So now we're getting into Ethereum territory. This is what I'm talking about. Yeah, we're good. Here's a fee. It's like 20 bucks. You cool with that? Yeah, yeah, I'm cool with that. Okay, well, here's another thing you got to do is 80 bucks. You cool with that? It's like, well, I already did the first thing. <laughs> Ethereum. Yes. The leader bringing us into the new world of finance. We're going to click the purple button again. Okay. And then we're going to do some MetaMask things. Oh, look, here's another transaction fee. Okay. Okay, so it says $137. Is that like on top of the $84? I think this is just an estimation. And then this is the more accurate number. So yes, it's hi. Welcome to Ethereum. We're going to click the blue button to confirm. Okay. So the delegation is completed. The Matic tokens are staked successfully on validator making cash. Your delegation will take one to two minutes to reflect in your account. Okay, great. Oh, this is a link. Okay. That's handy. I like that. Let's click it. Okay. So while we are waiting for our account to populate with the information from our staking activities, let me show you the rewards calculator. Uh, this is a really helpful tool that's already built into wallet.polygon.technology. And uh, this is going to show you what would happen if you, st if you staked various amounts of Matic tokens for various uh, lengths of time. So here we have the amount of time, which is one year, 365 days. And then we have how much Matic will we be delegating? That is 25 Matic. That is the amount we did for the exercise. And then this is saying that the current Matic tokens that are staked is about 30%, which means that about 70% of the ERC20 tokens of Matic that exist are not used for staking. And the reason why this slider is here in the calculator is because the rewards situation changes the more percentage of Matic is staked. Now the network does have a general like goal of how much Matic, like what percentage it should be staking. But here you can kind of project what would happen if more Matic was, was used in staking, what would happen to your rewards? What would happen if less Matic was used in staking? What would happen to your rewards? You can see the reward kind of changing over here and, and the different uh, uh, metrics changing as I change this. But the real, the real time conditions right now is 30%. That's all cool. And then this is how many days do we want to delegate for 365 days. So this is saying that in 365 days, we will get 3.2136 claimable Matic tokens uh, from the staking process. And in order to claim the Matic tokens, uh, after we're, we, we've done this staking, we need to make sure that it's over two Matic of balance in order for claiming, like they have like a claiming floor. So, this is all good and well and good. However, what we need to calculate is how much Matic do we need to stake in order to make back the Ethereum fees that we're paying in order to initiate our staking and also to conclude our staking at the end when we um, unstake, there's a transaction for that with an Ethereum transaction fee. So in order to do uh, our staking, we paid $130 in fees plus $20 in fees equals $150 in fees. So the stake plus unstake equals $300 total in Ethereum fees. <clears throat> Maybe when we unstake our Matic tokens in the future, Ethereum 2.0 will already be out and the proof of stake mechanism will already be running. And also the sharding will already be implemented and the transaction fees for Ethereum proper will be low. Maybe. No promises.
So let's calculate $300 worth of fees. So $300 worth of fees, how much Matic is that? That is 150 Matic. So how much Matic do we need to stake for one year in order to get 150 Matic in rewards? This is assuming that the Matic token price remains constant for one year, which is not likely, but this is the only way I can really do this exercise anyway. So let's just go ahead and keep going with it. Okay, so we have 30%. This is normal, 365, this is normal. Let's start things off with 2000. Uh, no, that's a little too high. Let's do 1200. Okay, that's closer. So 1200 Matic, so $2,400. So if you were staking $2,400 worth of Matic for one year, you would receive enough Matic to pay for the fees that you spend by staking and unstaking. This is assuming that the Matic price remains constant for one year at $2, which is not likely. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, it's not for small, uh, it's not for small uh, stakers, you know, but hopefully the Ethereum roadmap will progress and it will lower the fees so that this uh, staking activity can happen at a lower, at a lower fee situation. That would be nice. Okay, let's go to our account. Uh, we should see something happening now. Okay, great. We are at our account. It did take some moments for this, uh, this account to appear after we executed our staking transactions. So don't be nervous or worried if you execute, execute your staking transaction and then you go to your account page by clicking here and it just says like zero nothing. It's gonna say that and probably until the next checkpoint hits and then it's going to populate just like it is for me. So let's go through our account and break down the components of it. We have the Ethereum wallet balance, which is zero Matic because we staked all of it. And then we have our current stake, which is 25 Matic. And then it shows our USD valuation of that Matic, which is about $50 worth. And then we are currently delegating to one validator. We can delegate to many different validators actually using one wallet address, it's no problem. Um, you can just divide up your funds and then you can delegate each portion of your funds that you want to delegate to different uh, validators. And then we have our unclaimed rewards. Now this is going to slowly tick up over time. And over the course of 365 days, it will get closer and closer to uh, three Matic and change that we calculated with our delegate calculator. And then uh, over here, uh, we have our delegations, uh, which is delegated for making dot cash. And then it's telling us how uh, our, the performance of our validator that we're delegating for is doing. Now, if this, if this uh, checkpoint sign percentage goes down, you know, to a low percentage, then we know that our uh, delegate, a delegate that we're delegating to <laughs> is uh, not doing a good job. And then we can unstake from that and then stake to a new validator that is doing a good job. So now that we've done all that i think that we can leave this staking for a little bit and then when i uh make the video called how to cash out of the polygon ecosystem i'll include the unstaking and the unselling and everything as part of that uh for for that video for how to take all of your like DeFi activities on polygon all of your nfts or your rewards and all these different things and then get them back into cash in your bank account if you so choose so for now, that's gonna do it for this video. You can learn more about Polygon at the Polygon hub of MarketSquare by going to marketsquare.io. You can also get your free account and you can uh, register different pages. If you have projects that are on Polygon, we'd love to have you on MarketSquare. If you are just a, uh, somebody who loves blockchain and loves using different services, you can leave reviews for different services uh, that all have pages on MarketSquare. And we hope you have a good time with that. You can watch other videos from the Polygon Hub that should be appearing right around me. And until then, I will see you next time.